Moses took the credit for bringing forth the water. He and Aaron also disobeyed God by not listening to him. They were told to speak to the rock, not to strike it. It was as if Christ the rock was being struck. So Mo Moses' punishment for disobedience and misrepresentation was steep. He was not allowed to cross over into the promised land, even though he faithfully continued to lead the people and honour God. Now God is a compassionate God and he allowed Moses to see it, but not enter before his death. Now even though we may do good, we should be careful to follow Christ's instructions as he knows our beginning to end, our end to beginning. He can make the crooked places straight. He is our firm foundation. When we build on a firm foundation of Christ, we can withstand whatever comes our way. There is no storm too great and no circumstance too big for Jesus to overcome. Psalm chapter 61 verse 2 says, From the end of the earth I will cry to you, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us cry out to our rock, study and stand on the scriptures to cement our foundation. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. Let us pray and express our thankfulness to God and ask him to strengthen our spiritual pillars. Let us praise and worship Christ Jesus, even through the storms, to build our spiritual strength, our foundation and experience our rock's presence and purpose. It takes time to lay a sturdy foundation for a house to be built on. It can take time to build the foundation of your faith. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. If your foundation is feeling shaky and you'd like it to be more firm, spend more time in the presence of the King of Kings to enable you to withstand the storms of life, whether they be financial, physical, spiritual, or emotional. In the book of Matthew, we are reminded of when Jesus was asleep in the boat, when suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake, frightening the disciples who thought they were going to drown. Jesus replied, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. That's the mighty God that we serve. Amen. When a foundation is based on the true meaning and spirit of the word of God, it produces steadfast faith and life. We invest, inspect, and ensure that the foundation is maintained in good repair. To ensure maintenance, we remain spiritually vigilant and seek to do the will of God in our lives. Remaining faithful, determined to listen to the Holy Spirit's prompting. We should trust the Lord and know that the promises of God are sure. We need to apply God's word to our lives, live it, trust it, and pray according to God's word. Just like the lyrics of the song, 
On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. With Christ, we stand firmly, securely, rooted in his divine promises for our lives. Whilst all other idols, no matter their name, are sinking sand. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verses 3 to 4, tells us, I will proclaim the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the greatness of our God. He is the rock. His works are perfect and all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong. Upright and just is he. Hallelujah. Amen. God is a great God. He is unchangeable. We know in these times, especially in these times we're going through, government leaders, they change and bring with them changes in how to run things in their nations. Businesses rise and fall all the time. People change. Yet, in spite of all the changes in this world, God does not change. He never makes a mistake. He is perfect at all times in everything he does. He is faithful in whom we can rely. Our solid rock which does not change. A firm foundation that can be stood upon. We praise the greatness of God. We can trust that when we ask Jesus for forgiveness, he will forgive us. Our creator, our rock, serves as the ultimate foundation for all integrity and justice. He is just and upright. Now, people can make and break promises in an instant. I'm sure we've all been there. But the Lord never fails to keep a commitment. We routinely break our covenants with one another, but our Father never breaks his covenant with us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We can either build our lives on God's teaching and survive in that last day, or we build our lives on the sinking sand and be washed away into eternal destruction. The solid rock signifies one of the foundational truths of the Christian faith. Our salvation is based on Christ alone. As Christians building our lives on the solid rock of Jesus is not problematic. He gives us complete peace and assurance. When we are laid down with the pressures of life, in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30, Jesus invites us to come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If we commit to building a life on the rock of Jesus and his teachings, we are certain to be strong. When the trials come, nothing can move us when we are firmly built on Jesus. Let's keep our foundation strong and be rock solid and committed in Christ. And to those who would like to know and get close to Jesus, just know that he will welcome you with open arms. For God is the rock and to all who trust in him, an everlasting foundation. Hallelujah. We thank God for his word. Come to the end of the word. Praise God. We give God glory. We give God praise. Our solid rock and our foundation. Let us stand on him. Let us stand on his word. 
We give God thanks and we love one another, help one another, commit ourselves to the work of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen.